station on space to ground. Space tech is taking a page from the playbook of the year 200 BC. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. NASA's Kate Rubens installed a new payload this week that could keep future spacecraft like Orion cool. The Phase Change Heat Exchanger, part of NASA's game-changing development program, is testing the use of wax to control temperatures. Use of wax dates as far back as the early 200s BC and can be used to offset heat experienced by future spacecraft from sources like the sun. It works by storing energy from thawing the wax with hot coolant. That energy then gets dumped by a spacecraft's radiator, followed by the wax refreezing, ready for the next spike of heat. A new round of small satellites shot away from the station this week. Eight new Dove satellites from Planet Labs join their flock currently circling the Earth. These satellites are part of a growing constellation taking constant images of the planet below. Monitoring things like deforestation, the ice caps, natural disasters, and agricultural yields, the project seeks to lend a helping hand to humanitarian, environmental, and commercial users from the sky above. This week, Twitter user Ayush Kumar wants to know how many laptops are on the ISS and what brands. There's more than you might think. Right now, there are 128 laptops on the space station controlling everything from life support to science experiments and deployed for general use by the crew. Laptops usually have a lifetime of about four years on station. The first two series of laptops were from IBM and were used from 1998 to 2009. The current generation from Lenovo are going on seven years of use, but are in the process of being replaced by new laptops from HP right now. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.